Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a review of the fastest graphics card you can buy, the new AMD Radeon R9 295X2. Are you ready for 4K? Take one look at the new R9 295 and you'll see this thing is no joke. Measuring in at a full 12 inches or 30 centimeters, it's a very big and very heavy dual slot card. Unlike previous AMD reference cards, this has a new metal cooler that sets it apart from the more standard designs. In the center, you'll find a single fan that handles keeping the VRM cool, which is important as the 295 requires a whopping 500 watts. To keep all that power under control, AMD opted for a 120mm closed loop water cooling setup from Acetech, a first for a reference graphics card. Not only does it keep the 295 from dumping an enormous amount of heat in your case, but as you'll see a bit later on, it also keeps things fairly cool and quiet for the GPUs. Take a look around back, and you'll see four mini display ports, each of which are 4K capable, as well as a dual link DVI. For power, you'll need a pair of 8-pin PCIe connectors, and this is one place where you're going to make sure you have plenty of wattage available. AMD recommends at least 28 amps per 12 volt rail, meaning you'll need a power supply in the roughly 800 watt range to keep it fed. Inside the 295, you'll find two fully enabled Hawaii GPUs, essentially giving you a pair of R9 290Xs inside a single card. Unlike most dual GPU cards, you're really not losing anything versus going with a Crossfire setup, as both GPUs are actually running slightly faster than a typical Hawaii card. Thanks to the water cooling loop, you don't run into the same throttling either. Keeping those beefy GPUs fed is a massive 8GB of GDDR5 memory. For a graphics card, that's an almost absurd number. To put things in perspective, my entire test bench has 8GB of system memory. You can see the full specs of the 295 for yourself here, compared to the 290X and 290, but the big thing to take away from it is that, for all intents and purposes, you're looking at two complete R9 290X GPUs built into a single card. While working on this review, AMD told me straight up that the 295X2 is really aimed at 4K gaming, so they let me borrow a 32-inch sharp 4K monitor to test with. Gaming at 4K is really something, as with 4 times as much resolution compared to HD, you can get right up and close and still see lots and lots of detail. To see how well the 295 stacks up, I benchmarked it alongside the MSI R9 290X Lightning, a seriously impressive card on its own that I'll be taking a closer look at a bit later. So enough of me going on and on about tech specs, how does the 295 actually handle gaming? In 3 d Mark Firestrike, both cards are seriously impressive, with the 290X Lightning pulling in just over 10,000 points, and the 295X2 delivering 15,644. Jump over to Battlefield 4, which is running on Ultra at 4K, and you'll see nearly perfect scaling, as the 290X isn't able to hit 30 FPS, whereas the 295 is approaching 60. Metro Last Light is another good example, as on very high settings, you're looking at 29 frames per second on the 290X and 48 on the 295X2. Crisis 3 is an incredibly punishing game even at lower resolutions, but crank it up to 4K and you'll still get a perfectly playable 37fps thanks to the dual Hawaii GPUs. While it might not quite match up for pure graphics, Grid 2 can still be demanding with all the knobs cranked up, and here we're looking at a very impressive 95 FPS on the 295 versus 53 on the 290X Lightning. As you guys can see, the performance of the 295 is beastly. However, one of the big issues with the 290X was that it was a very hot and very loud card. So if you take two of those GPUs and you put it on the same card, you're just asking for trouble, right? In the noise department, I think the 295X2 is pretty decent, but I'll let you guys listen for yourselves. Considering just how much power these cards consume, the temperatures are very reasonable, with the 295 topping out around 60 degrees Celsius, and the 290X Lightning at 68 degrees. However, unlike the 290X, which topped out at 95 degrees, the 295 limits you to 75 degrees, so while there is some overclocking headroom, it's not a ton. Overall, while the Titan Black might come close, for now, the AMD Radeon R9 295X2 is hands down the fastest single graphics card you can buy. The downside, though, is that you're going to have to pay for that performance. So the 295 comes out on April 21st for $1,500. Considering a pair of 290X Lightnings runs about $1,400 right now, I don't think it's an absurd price to pay for getting it in a water cool package, but there's no way of getting around that this is one expensive card. So what do you guys think? Is the 295 worth it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, in case this is just a little outside your price range, I recently posted a new budget gaming PC build, which you guys can find in the link in the description of this video. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.